Hey guys, it's Andrew, your tiny, tiny house guy. Um, just sitting here, actually in a big fancy restaurant, about to have breakfast. Um, waiting for my wife to come down. It's our 20th anniversary, so we got away. Um, anyway, I was just sitting thinking, uh, the other day I went into a friend of mine's house that he was working on, um, you know, uh, probably a close to $600,000 house. And as I'm walking around looking at this place, of course, you know, us in the tiny house world, we're surrounded by small and tiny and trying to figure out that whole um, way of life and it's cool but I hadn't been in a big house like that in a long time and so when I went in I was kind of looking around and I noticed there was um, you know so much stuff that's just just unnecessary I mean even for the sake of just being elaborate it's unnecessary like um, there were three sinks in the kitchen and and I, I guess if you have a use for those but even the way they were set up was wasn't really that useful it looked like it was just there for the sake of saying well it has three sinks um you know balconies in the living room and just not well thought out stuff i guess with uh you know five or six thousand square feet you don't have to really think out how you're gonna you know lay things out but there was a lot of um wasted space and it kind of kind of caught me off guard because like i said i hadn't been in a in a um, house like that in such a long time you know dealing with all the tiny house stuff but <clears throat> it just got me thinking you know that house in that neighborhood it really just felt like a show you know it felt like this isn't just for the sake of living comfortably with more um, surroundings more beautiful things it just it felt more like it was just for show um, and it may or may not have been but it just didn't uh, it didn't seem like a worthwhile thing to me you know and then I started thinking about all the things that can be had or done or the contributions to humanity and society and to our own personal interests be it you know ministry or digging wells in Africa or you know helping family or spending time with with the uh, you know people in hospice or you know helping homeless or veterans and so on I thought man there's so much that can be done with this um, and again not to say there's anything wrong with living a lavish lifestyle but um, for me when I was in there it just thought like it, it just felt like it was very wasteful and and for no real good um, honorable reason and, and again it is, could be just my own perception but anyway just a little thing I thought I'd share with you that I experienced and just a reminder that you know life is more um, about people than it is anything else and if what you're doing is helping you connect with and interact with and appreciate and support people and humanity then go for it it's all good um, if it's not, maybe it's time to redirect and um, zoom out and take a look at what your life is about and uh, make a difference in the world. You know, we can all do this and the tiny house movement is making that possible and probable for so many on so many different levels. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm Andrew Bennett, your tiny, tiny house guy. Catch you guys later.